Oh, what's up guys and welcome back to my reading journey. Hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. Having a great weekend. And today we're going to continue with the daily stoic. It's going to be the two meditations that I will read to you. Let's begin with the first one. Cut the strings that pull your mind. Understand at least that you have something in you more powerful and divine than what causes the bodily passions and pulls you like a mere puppet? What thoughts now occupy your mind? Is it not fear, suspicious desire, or something like that? Marcus Aurelius Meditations. Think of all the interests vying for a share of your wallet or for a second of your attention. Food scientists are engineering products to exploit your taste buds. Silicon Valley engineers are designing applications as addictive as gambling. The media is manufacturing stories to provoke outrage and, an outrage and anger. 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 These are just a small slice of the temptations and forces acting on us, distracting us and pulling us away from the things that truly matter. Marcus, thankfully, was not exposed to these extreme parts of our modern culture, but he knew plenty of distracting sinkholes to gossip, the endless call of work, as well as fear, suspicion, lust. Every human being is pulled by these internal and external forces that are incre increasingly more powerful and harder to resist. Philosophy is simply asking us to pay careful attention and to strive to be more than a pawn. As Vic Victor Frankl, Frankl puts in a will to meaning, man is punished. Sorry, man is pushed by the by drives, but pulled by values. These values, our inner awareness, prevent us from being puppets. Sure, paying attention requires work and awareness, but isn't that better than being jerked ab about on a string? The next one. Peace is insane, the course. In peace in this insane, the course. Tranquility can, can be grasped except by those who have reached an unwavering and firm power of judgment. The rest constantly fall and rise in their decisions, wavering in a state of alter, alternately, al, alternately rejecting and accepting things. What is the cause of this back and forth? It's because nothing is clear and they rely on the most Uncertain guide, common opinion. Seneca moral, moral letters. In Seneca's essay on tranquility, he uses the Greek word ephemia, ephemia, which he defines as believing in yourself and and trusting that you are on the right path, and not being in doubt by following the my myriad footprint footpaths of those wandering in every direction it is this this state of mind he says that produces tr tranquility clarity of vision allows us to have this belief that's not to say we are always going to be 100 percent certain on the, of everything or that we even should be Rather, it's that we can rest assured we are heading generally in the right direction, that we don't need to constantly compare ourselves with other people or change our mind every three seconds based on new information. Instead, tranquility and peace are found in identifying our path and in sticking to it staying the course, making an adjustment here and there, naturally, by ignoring the distracting sirens who become us to turn towards the rock, rocks. 
So, thank you for joining me today on this weekend reading, guys. Hope you're all doing great, and we're gonna continue tomorrow. So, thank you for joining me today on this video, and see you bye.